So imagine Optic has uh, more than 30 patents and now around the world, we have more than 2000 uh, sensors deployed. Uh, and this is a brief summary of our uh, company portfolio in terms of clients. We have a presence worldwide, as you can see. I'm gonna talk briefly about the, the offers we have. We have two different offers, sensing and correction. And uh, as you can see in the wavefront sensors, uh, we have different kinds of wavefront sensors, metrology systems. And in the correction, we have deformable mirrors from uh, electromagnetic to mechanic deformable mirrors and adaptive optics solution. We're gonna delve now into our uh, revolutionary product, Chem Squared, uh, which is uh, a new product for laser beam quality. I'm going to leave the word to my uh, colleagues, uh, Xavier and Diego. Thank you, Omar. So I'm Xavier Levesque, and uh, I'm very proud to um, present you uh, today our uh, new Cam Squared system, uh, fully, fully uh, dedicated to uh, laser beam uh, testing. So, uh, CAM squared, CAM squared, what it is? Uh, it's a um, uh, laser, laser beam uh, quality measurement. Um, and uh, this product has a few um, very unique features. First of all, uh, this system is a um, real time uh, measurement system. In the second, this system is very compact. Uh, uh, you, you can compare it to a, a, a beam profiler. It's exactly the same size of a beam profiler. So very, very compact. Um, it can measure uh, the uh, parameter of the laser without any additional optics. No need of uh, lens, uh, translation stage, or thing like that, just nothing only the things that are necessary to reduce the power of the, of the, um, of the laser, for sure. And, uh, at the, uh, and uh, the last but not the least, uh, uh, every, every, things, uh, every calculation is, uh, is done uh, uh, following uh, the standard ISO uh, 111 uh, uh, 40, <coughs> 46. So let's enter a little bit into the de details. I, th I said that it's um, a uh, real-time measurement. Yes, it is. Why? Because we only need one measurement to make the whole calculation. So it's completely instantaneous. Uh, the, the measurement uh, takes a few, between a few uh, tenths of a microsecond to a few tenths of a millisecond, depending on the uh, power of the laser. We don't need uh, to have multiple measurements. We don't need to have any translation. Uh, everything is done in one single shot. So for sure, Thanks to this feature, uh, uh, CAM squared is uh, it's perfect for uh, real-time alignment when it's necessary. It's perfect for uh, um, pulse laser, and it allows you to um, uh, to follow uh, thermal and dynamic effect on your laser. This system has been designed to be alignment-free. Uh, more exactly, this system is as easy to use as a beam profiler. You just have to put it in front of your beam and, uh, and take the measurement. So no alignment, uh, nothing to do, just put uh, the system in front of the beam. So uh, once again, is as easy as, and as quick as uh, a beam profiler. Better. This system has also been designed to, uh, to be optics free. So you don't need to add any optics. Uh, you just need to have the right uh, uh, 
uh, power uh, and reduce the power when the power is too, too big. It can, uh, uh, you can measure for sure uh, quite uh, low divergent beam, but you can also measure with uh, quite a big divergent beam, uh, even in, a, in, a, in a focusing or diverging beam without adding any optics. And uh, I will show you in a moment why we can be uh, ISO compliant with only one measurement. So I said that it, it is um, as easy as a beam profile. profile. Um, unless uh, the beam profiler can measure one parameter of the, of the beam, it can measure, can, uh, the beam profile can measure the intensity. Cam squared is, is not only measuring the intensity, but also measuring um, uh, the electric field in one plane. When I say electric field, it's uh, more exactly the intensity and the phase of, of the beam. Thanks to the intensity and the phase, we can, uh, by calculation, uh, we, we, we can get the intensity profile of the of the beam anywhere before or behind uh, the measuring plane, and especially uh, more especially, we we, we can uh, calculate uh, the intensity profile near the beam, uh, near, near the beam west, in the relay zone, but also outside the relay zone. And thanks to uh, these uh, measuring planes. Um, we are able to uh, to follow the rules of the ISO standard in order to get uh, all the parameters of the beam. Uh, that is to say, uh, the beam, uh, the west, uh, the west timer, but also the divergence, uh, the relay zone distance, uh, the position of the west, uh, the astigmatism, the, uh, the asymmetry of the beam. So all the parameters that uh, that are given by the ISO standard. Um, I would like to present you now some uh, some measurement of uh, of this cam squared. And uh, first of all, I would like to talk about uh, the repeatability of the system. So, in order to check the repeatability, we have uh, put our cam squared behind a very stable HENE laser. And uh, we have made uh, several measurements, several tens of measurements. And here are the results of, uh, of about 50, uh, 50 measurements. And you can see that uh, uh, the, the, the measurement is very, very stable. We are measuring 1.06 uh, with a variation that less than one, much, much less than 1%. And uh, here are the, the, the beam radius was uh, 1.5. Uh, 1.35 millimeter. We have also uh, made some measurement in different configuration, different size of, uh, of beam, uh, different divergence in, fo in, a, in, a config in, fo in focusing configuration, but also diverging co co configuration, as it is described in this uh, in this slide. And uh, uh, we have measuring. Uh, uh, the, the parameter, the M square parameter, with different uh, diameter of the beam, and um, in in the focus uh, configuration, but also in diverging uh, con divergent beam configuration. And you can see here that uh, the M square parameter is uh, always in the range of uh, something like five percent. So uh, even with very different uh, uh, size. And, and different uh, optical configuration, uh, the, the measurement is uh, really coherent in terms of um, uh, accuracy. Um, for sure, we wanted to um, compare the accuracy of our cam square measurement with uh, the other uh, uh, systems that are measuring uh, M square and, and uh, beam parameter, uh, laser beam parameter. So we have uh, 
contacted uh, several uh, manufacturers and we have made uh, tens of uh, measurements on tens of different uh, uh, lasers and uh, ranging uh, different in, in power, different in wavelengths, different in size, uh, different in divergence. And um, here I, I've chosen to show you three of these uh, measurements uh, and comparison. So most of the comparison we have made is with uh, beam squared from off here. And you can see, uh, for example, in this, uh, for this configuration, it was a UV laser, 351 nanometers. And uh, you can see that uh, the, the measurement of uh, the M square for X and Y was very close to the one uh, uh, measured by uh, the beam square. Uh, same result uh, for a laser at 532 nanometers, so green laser. And um, here, uh, um, the, the, the M square was very, very good also. Uh, and uh, and the, the measurement from M squared was very uh, close to the one measured by the green square. And we do have exactly the same result uh, with a, a laser uh, in, uh, in uh, at uh, 1,000 uh, nanometers, uh, one micron, exactly 1.064 uh, nanometers. And uh, as you can see, uh, the, the, the measurement made by M squared is, is really close to the one made by the beam squared. And we decide uh, for, for the line uh, of, uh, of this project, we decide to have, uh, 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 for the beginning, three different systems. So one for a uh, quite small pupil, so for, for, la for laser beam smaller than 3.5 uh, millimeters, uh, one for a bigger, bigger, uh, bigger uh, beam, uh, around five, five millimeter maximum, and uh, we will uh, launch uh, soon, uh, 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 cam squared for uh, sphere laser, so uh, wavelengths between uh, 0 0.9 and 1.7 uh, micron wavelength. So with these three, uh, with three, these three system, we will cover quite a wide range of uh, laser. So um, before uh, going through uh, uh, the demo demo live, um, I would like to uh, add a, a little summary. So um, uh, Cam Squared can measure in real time. Um, it's very easy, uh, as you will see, um, to uh, to align. Uh, just just have to put it in front of the beam, and uh, it's very compact. So uh, we think that this uh, system is uh, perfect for R&D, for sure, but also for production and, and, and for on-site on -site support. It was very simple to, to, uh, to take it with you, to go to your customer and make uh, the measurement of your laser uh, in, uh, in support. So I will uh, give the talk to, um, to Diego in order for him to show you uh, uh, and present you uh, Cam Square in live. Thanks, you guys, Xavier. It was very, really, very interesting. Now, uh, let's test a uh, first. So, uh, if you can uh, see the, this little uh, setup, we have a very common laser, so green one, 30, uh, 532 nanometers, uh, continuous, uh, with uh, around uh, 5 millimeter janitor. So the laser is on, you can see maybe on the paper, and just in front of, uh, we put the cam square. So our new sensor, uh, we, so this bench is as compact as possible. You just have to put the cam square in front of the laser as uh, Xavier explained to you. And now I'm gonna try to uh, share my screen in order to show you the dedicated uh, software. Okay, show my screen, and I think you are watching uh, WaveView, so our dedicated software. The idea is simple. So first of all, 
you try to get uh, your beam on the camera signal. So I'll show you that. Okay. There is something wrong. Now, is it not ring? Yes, so there is a, some delay, but we are all live measuring with the paper, no signal, without, without, we get the laser beam. So first thing on the camera signal is to uh, optimize the saturation value. We recommend uh, to get a value between 80% and 92%. To do so, you can work on the exposure time. So here I'm gonna reduce it a little bit in order to get on the 90 percent it's okay uh, so you can adapt this value uh, according to the power of your laser we are also averaging uh, 15 images uh, in order to get a more uh, accurate measurement thanks to that we have a good saturation uh, signal a uh, good camera signal we can reconstruct intensity map and the phase as Xavier explained it to you so here you can see that uh, the beam is uh, uh, totally entirely on the sensor. So the sensor is in the y-axis 5.1 millimeter, and the beam is five millimeters. So we are at the edges of uh, the sensor. Now we can launch the calculation. So acquisition rate still a little bit delayed but you can see here that we get our iso uh, parameters so how it works um, there is three so first of all you can see uh, the m square the waist uh, size the waist uh, location and the divergence so the iso standard gives uh, three methods of reconstruction so the circular, when your beam is perfectly circular. You have also the astigmatic one, so simple astigmatic, uh, when there is uh, an asymmetry between x-axis and y-axis. In this method, you get uh, decoupled information uh, between the two axes, so uh, one m squared for each axis, also astigmatism and asymmetry which are relevant, relevant metrics for uh, laser manufacturers. And the fourth, um, so general astigmatism is when your beam is as astigmatic that, that uh, you can't uh, resolve two axes. And the fourth one, our homemade is the automatic mode. So our software gonna uh, detect by itself the shape of your beam and uh, classify it uh, in the appropriate method. So here we have a very uh, Gaussian beam. So detected beam shape is circular. So the calculation is done with uh, the circular method. Um, that's it. Now, uh, I propose you to go to a more complex laser. So we have here a femtosecond laser with a higher repetition rate, 80 uh, megahertz, and uh, another wavelength. To do so, and that's one of uh, the advantage of CAM square, is that there is no alignment. So you can unplug it from a bench and plug it into uh, another bench in front of another laser. Uh, so here is the laser. We have two mirrors and uh, the CAM square. Now, we're going to wait. OK, so you can see that the beam is uh, smaller, 1.3 millimeter in the measurement plane. And we need to uh, optimize the saturation value. To do so, I would go to 1.6 millisecond. Wait a little bit. And now, we, we have uh, a good camera signal, so we get uh, an accurate uh, intensity map, and probably we can get the n-square measurement. 
uh, we forgot one thing which is very important is to uh, update the wavelength in order to get the true m2 and to have some relevant values so here you can see that the wavelength is the right one now and the uh, beam shape uh, detected is general astigmatism the manufacturer uh, announced uh, a m squared of 1.15 we can see that we are measuring one of 1.12 so we are quite close and uh, that's a good news for cam squared also good news for for the manu manufacturer um that's it so you we have uh, shown that you can measure very easy and fastly um, iso parameters now we can also go to uh, to force okay so we have this auto uh, mode but you can force the calculation for example if you have a very circular beam but you want to get information uh, along each axis uh, you can force uh, the method and here you can see that in orange uh, the software uh, tells you which uh, which uh, beam shape has been detected but we are doing the calculation in the simple astigmatic uh, uh, method so just a, a few words so as the um the iso standard uh, uh, well, said that it it's it necessary to have at least 10 different uh, plane um, uh, intensity uh, reconstruction in 10 different planes five in, into the relay zones and five outside and here we chosen uh, to to uh, calculate not only 10 but 21 uh, you can choose this, this parameter um, and uh, here thanks to this 21 uh, measurement uh, you, we, we can uh, we can directly and automatically um, um, fit uh, uh, the uh, the caustic uh, of, of the of the beam and thanks to this caustic parameter we are able to uh, to uh, determine all the, all the parameters of the beam included astigmatism west asymmetry but also for sure the the, the, the diameter of uh, the diameter of the of the west uh, the, uh, the divergence for x and y axis and uh, all uh, all the, pa the the parameters that are given by uh, by this uh, iso iso um, standard uh, as you can see here we, we we do have the reconstruction of the intensity uh, uh, close to the west but we, we we can scroll we can change this position and see the evolution of the of the um, of the spot of the focalization beam or profile of the laser for more, more exactly uh, around around the, the 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 west position and quite far from uh, from uh, from this west position so here you do have all the uh, information of uh, of the uh, the, uh, the ladder beam, including including uh, the propagation uh, the propagation uh, of the beam around the, the waist. Another detail uh, I forgot to mention is that uh, the length that are given by the software, so waist location, um, is given uh, relatively to the measurement plane. So here, for example, we can read uh, 11 centimeter. It means that the waste location is at 11 centimeter from the sensor, we can square. 100 millimeter, 10 centimeter, 11. Okay, uh, let's. So we are measuring, measuring quite close to the, to the weight. So to conclude, uh, to conclude this uh, this demo, um, I hope that uh, uh, we we succeed to show you how easy it is to um, to use uh, the scam uh, the cam square system. Um, you can see by yourself that it's very compact. Uh, you can also see that it's a real time measurement uh, with without any uh, translation and, and motorized. Uh, 
everything is done in only one shot. Now uh, let's go to Q and A. Q and A. Uh, if you have some question, uh, go in the chat. Thank you.